Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and this is my TBR for the Paranormal Romance Readathon. <laughs> So I'm super excited for this readathon. I absolutely love paranormal romance, so I'm very excited. This readathon takes place from October 30th to the 6th. It is hosted by some of my lovely, lovely, lovely booktube friends. We have Jess from Peace Love Books, Lacey from Lacey Book Lovers, Elisa from Remarkably Lisa, Charles from Book on Stereo, Desi from Genki Reader, and Crystal from Crystal's Bookish Life. I love every single one of these hosts. I watch their videos religiously. I'm so excited to be participating in this readathon they've created. I have all of the challenges listed here, so I'm going to go through them and tell you what books I plan to be reading. I don't know if I'm going to be reading all of these um, because there's a lot, so we will see. So the first prompt is read a novella, and for that one, I ended up picking Father Mind by J.R. Ward. This is like a big this is like the insider's guide to Black Dagger Brotherhood, but it has Father Mine in here. And it is number, I believe, 3.5 in the series, possibly. Um, this is a little novella about Zadis and Bella. And if you know what happens at the end of the third book, it's 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 about that. <laughs> and I'm so excited to read it. Um, I have yet to read the novella. I I don't know why I haven't yet because I absolutely adore Zadist and Bella. This is a vampire paranormal romance series uh, dealing with mates and everything and vampires live in a secret society on earth where humans don't know about them but they exist. Zadist and Bella had a romance in book number three and it was beautiful to read about so I'm very excited to read their little novella. For the prompt of Faded Mates, I'm going to be going with Untouchable by Cressley Cole. This is book number seven in the Immortals After Dark series. I started the Immortals After Dark series um, last month in September and I have jumped headfirst into this series. I am obsessed with them. Like each book is about like different paranormal couplings and it is so good. So all of them are kind of like standalone romances but you probably would get more bang for your buck if you read all of them in order because you like get to know each character before their book comes. Um, so this one is about Murdoch Roth who is a vampire and he will stop at nothing to claim Daniela the Ice Maiden, the delicate Valkyrie who makes his heart beat for the first time in 300 years. Yet the exquisite Danny is part of Ice Fae, and her freezing skin can't be touched by anyone but her own kind without inflicting pain beyond measure. Soon, desperate for closeness in an agony of frustration, Murdoch and Danny will do anything to have each other. Together, can they find the key that will finally allow them to slake the overwhelming desire burning between them. I might actually just be like binging a bunch of the Immortals After Dark series <laughs> this whole week. Um, we will see. I don't know if I'm going to get to all of these books, but I definitely want to get to this series and J.R. Ward's books, <laughs> and that will be coming up later as well. More of her books. <laughs> Each book in the Immortals After Dark series is about a Fade and Mate pair, so this definitely fits the bill for Fade and Mates. Okay, so for the prompt of published before 2010, I have Fantasy Lover by Sherilyn Kenyon. I don't know a lot about this book. I'm going to read the summary for you. All I know is that a man comes out of a book. <laughs> Um, as you can see, I think he comes out of the book. Dear reader, being trapped in a bedroom with a woman is gr a grand thing. Being trapped in hundreds of bedrooms over 2,000 years isn't. And being cursed into a book as a love slave for eternity can ruin even a Spartan warrior's day. As a love slave, I know everything about women. How to touch them, how to savor them, and most of all, how to pleasure them. But when I was summoned to fulfill Grace Alexander's sexual fantasies, I found the first woman in history who saw me as a man with a tormented past. She alone bothered to take me out of the bedroom and into the world. She taught me to love again, but I was not born to know love. I was cursed to walk eternity alone. As a general, I long ago accepted my sentence, yet now I found grace, the one thing my wounded heart cannot survive without. Sure, love can heal all wounds, but can it break a 2,000 year old curse? So it seems like this man has been cursed, maybe by a witch, so there's paranormally stuff going on, so this definitely fits the bill. Um, this was published in... Let's see what year. This book is really beat up and old. I think I got it off Thrift Books and it has some water damage in it. Um, this was published in 2002. So, 
very excited i've heard great things about this book and then we have indie author i don't have a book picked out for this i think that i'm gonna look more into it and i'm gonna look at all the books i have on this list and see if any of those authors are indie authors and then that'll just double up for that because i don't really have anything right now unfortunately then there's the lgbtqia plus prompt and for that one i am picking queen takes queen by julie super cart this is the third book a part of their vampire queen series this is a um, reverse harem romance series and i've read books one and two i own the whole entire box set i'm pretty sure on my kindle this has to do with like a vampires <laughs> and uh like they are all together um i believe there's only one woman but i assume by the title of this book another woman might be put into the harem here so i'm very excited about this um i haven't read the other two in a very long time so hopefully i don't need to reread them because i have so many books to read but um i'm very excited for this one nonetheless then for the prompt that says has an animal it can be shifter or a companion for this one i have picked the wolf's mail order bride by ella good this is the second book a part of the mail order brides series like this is a series where each book is written by a different author and they don't correspond like at all so the first one was written by ruby dixon and i really enjoyed that one so i'm gonna pick this one the first one was an alien romance of course um so this one is a wolf shifter cassie madsen doesn't believe in true love fate and mates or happily ever after which is why she's approached by a matchmaker for a marriage of convenience she agrees immediately she needs a place to hide from her dangerous ex-boyfriend and the backwoods of upstate new york sound perfect she'll vow to honor the stranger sight unseen but she won't love him ed and rule believes in two things the importance of his pack and the sanctity with a mated bond when his new bride arrives he recognizes instantly that cassie is the only woman for him he's shocked when she doesn't know he's a shifter even worse she declares that the marriage is only a business deal with the full moon nine days away edun has only a short time to convince cassie that her true love exists in the form of a werewolf <laughs> werewolf shifter definitely fits the bill for uh shifter romance i'm excited but also kind of hesitant for this one because i don't know i've heard some mediocre things about ella good but i'm i'm keeping my hopes high gonna keep them high then we have the angel romance prompt and i scoured my whole entire kindle library and i found one and it is called blood laws by lexi c voss and this is the first book in the series anastasia davenport's best friend is dead no not just dead murdered burned alive decapitated and the only one who can help her figure out what happened is a demon masquerading as a billionaire playboy because that happens in real life yet anastasia has always known that the supernatural exists not the kind in fairy tales or happily ever after but the kind that kills isaac wakefield knows the rules when you find a fledgling immortal in the city you kill her except anastasia intrigues him with uncanny abilities marking her as too useful for death with revenge on his mind he strikes up an agreement with her instead one that'll benefit them both but as complications arise secrets unravel initiating a legal game that threatens both of their lives loyalties will be tested bonds will be made and a forbidden romance will rise welcome to the immortal curse world where angels and vampires are refined and seraphim reigns i believe she's possibly an angel and doesn't know it yet that sounds pretty good i've never heard anything about this author or this book so i'm very excited then we have dearest ivy by jr ward this is book number 15.5 in the black dagger brotherhood series now i love the black dagger brotherhood series i have not completed it i have read up to book number 15. i don't think i've read single one this year possibly which is really sad for me but i think i just got in a slump i read i was like just reading all of them at once and i think i needed a break and then i came up to having to read number 15.5 and it wasn't an audiobook and it was an ebook dearest ivy is an ebook like there's no audio version of it i didn't feel like reading ebooks at the time so i just i think i read maybe like a chapter or two and just didn't finish it but i want to finish it um so that's what we're gonna do in this readathon this is a novella a part of the black dagger brotherhood series but the thing is like none of these characters in this one pop up in the previous one so i just think it's like a fun little novella possibly that has nothing to do with the past characters so this is a vampire romance as i said the last place ivy expects to be approached by a devastatingly handsome male 
is in a crowded, smoky cigar bar rarely frequented by vampires. Yet, here he stands. Silas is flirtatious, gallant, and above all, mysterious. Ivy is anything but. A nurse at the healer's clinic and the daughter of a biker, Ivy is accustomed to speaking her mind. So she does. Since aristocrats rarely pick up females of her class, Ivy asks Silas just what kind of game he thinks he's playing. Despite her guarded exterior, Ivy surrenders to the fierce desire she feels for Silas. And yet, just as their courtship is heating up, he reveals that it only cannot last, for he is bound to return to the old country. Their bond only deepens as they make the most of their precious time together. But when she learns the truth, Ivy must find a saving grace before all is lost. So none of these characters have popped up in the previous ones. I don't know if they have anything to do with the books coming up after this one, but we will see. I was really intrigued by it. I just need to read it. I need to read this one so I can finally read The Thief, which is one I've been dying to read. Here's The Thief. This is number 16. This one has high expectations for me. The Chosen in the series had high expectations for me, but that one unfortunately let me down. Um, and I didn't love it as much as I thought I would. This one hopefully will not let me down. I am very excited for this. I've been waiting for this romance, so I'm very excited. I don't know if I'm going to be getting to it in this readathon. Does it fill any of the prompts? The last prompt is dark in the title. Now, I did not want to spend any money. I don't, I'm not spending any money for books for the rest of the year even ebooks. So um, I went scavenging on my Kindle. I went scavenging in my books for paranormal books that have dark in the title, audiobooks, everything. The only thing that came close was this book, which is Promise of Darkness by Beck McMaster. Now, this isn't a paranormal romance. It's a fantasy romance. Hopefully that's okay. Like it has paranormal aspects in it, fantasy magic stuff in it. So hopefully that's okay. <laughs> but like, this is the only thing that popped up for me that has stark in the title that is in my kindle that it has some sort of magical aspect to it this is a fantasy romance inspired by hades and persephone in a realm ruled by magic the ruthless queen of thorns is determined to destroy her nemesis the cursed prince of evernight with war brewing between the bitter enemies the prince forces queen adaya to uphold the ancient treaty she will send one of her daughters to his court as a political hostage for three months. The queen insists it's the perfect opportunity for Princess Iskavin to end the war before it begins. But one look into Thiago's smoldering eyes and Vi knows she's no assassin. The more secrets she uncovers about the prince and his court, the more she begins to question her mother's motives. Who is the true enemy? The dark prince who threatens her heart or the ruthless queen who will stop at nothing to destroy him and when the curse threatens to shatter both courts is her heart strong enough to break it so i'm very excited i've been wanting to read this for so long ashley from ash art books loves this book she recommended me this book i am excited for this book but it's a fantasy romance but hopefully that's okay but yeah <laughs> it's very long though so i don't know if i'm actually going to be getting to it this week and lastly i have burn for me by lona andrews this doesn't fill any of the prompts i really want to read it and it's available off of libby and um, i've heard great things about this series nevada baylor is forced with the most challenging case of her detective career a suicide mission to bring in a suspect in a volatile case nevada isn't sure she has the chops her quarry is a prime the highest rank magic user who can set anyone and anything on fire then she's kidnapped by connor mad rogan a darkly tempting billionaire with equally devastating powers torn between wanting to run or surrender to their overwhelming attraction nevada must join forces with rogan to stay alive rogan's after the same target so he needs nevada but she's getting under his skin, making him care about someone other than himself for a change. And as Rogan has learned, love can be a perilous as as perilous as death, especially in the magic world. I've heard this book takes place in Houston, and that is my hometown, and I very rarely read books set in Houston, which is really weird because it's like the third or second most populated city in all of the US, and I never read books ever that takes place in Houston. Um, so I'm very excited for this. I've heard great things. I believe Izzy and Charles really like this book, if I'm not mistaken. I'm very excited for it. Hopefully I get to it very soon. Um, it is on audio and I don't have a lot of audiobooks on this list, so I think I'm probably going to be getting to this one. So there you have it. That is my Paranormal Romance Readathon TBR. I'm really excited for this upcoming readathon. I think the idea is amazing and so much fun. So thank you all of the hosts for putting this all together. I'm really excited. Please let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to, I'd love to know. But anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see you all soon in my next one. Bye.